a boarding pass seems to have more than one option. Right after the crew checks it, use it wisely. Tuck one side of a boarding pass right under your phone cover, and the second side goes under the tray table latch. Sounds weird, but this Redditor tried it, and I guess he didn't have a boring flight thanks to this makeshift movie theater. Ever shop till you dropped so much you wished you had a couple of extra hands? The next time you set on a supermarket adventure, make sure to take a carabiner with you. This little guy will compensate for the lack of extra hands, so you'll carry everything you bought on that Black Friday sale with the two of your default hands. Just put all those plastic bags on a carabiner. To upgrade your experience, I strongly suggest you make a fabric grip. Any keen athletes here? This one's for you. If your pockets have no zippers or buttons and you don't want to lose keys, loose change, or whatever else you keep in your pockets while running, you need a rubber band. Just tie the pocket up from the inside like this Redditor did. Also, it's a nice remedy for pickpocketing and loss paranoia. One more workout trick here. Sometimes, socks have inside seams which can give you blisters while running. No need to get rid of these socks and buy new ones. Just wear the ones you have inside out. This Redditor is a genius. Oh, yeah. In case you ever doubt if a $100 bill you're holding is real, you can use Ooh. this magic trick. You see this blue authenticity line? It looks like it's woven inside the paper. Now, fold the bill in such a way that this blue line is in front of you and the paper is slightly bent backward. Grab a needle and try to insert it right under the flap that you see. If the bill is real, you'll see that there's actually a slit in your bill. Thing is, fake printed money can't normally have this feature, as in most cases they simply don't have the multiple layers to allow for this. The wet traces a plunger leaves on the floor are sort of gross, even if you rinsed it thoroughly. So next time it comes to your rescue, make sure to dry it afterward. The best way to do that is to rest it under the seat to dry. Ever seen these traps on shopping carts? You can repurpose them to keep your drink safe. Yeah, that's a bit barbarian. I wish there were special holders for that in each and every cart. For those who like to sleep in airport lounges, this one is a lifesaver. To protect your valuable hand luggage, just loop your bag through your foot. Yes, strapping it onto your leg or arm seems more effective, but it's not that all the bags have such a feature. You can use this life hack in other crowded places too. This Redditor does this trick in bars, and it seems to work just fine. Oh, really? There's also a trick on how to sift the flour in the fastest way possible. Surprisingly, you'll need a massage device for that. Look how fast you can do that, and no more shaking. A piece of an eraser can help you control your automated car windows better. This Redditor's dog was quite excited each time it got a ride, so it would accidentally push the window switch with a paw. The Redditor just put a well-fitted piece of eraser into that dimple and the problem was solved. Picture this. You have a sore throat. You consult a doctor and they prescribe you a throat spray that works wonders. There's only one downside to this. You just can't stand the taste. It's not a big deal, and a cotton swab can help you with that. Just apply the throat spray directly to the throat to avoid all the taste buds on your tongue. Not all people are big fans of plain black coffee. Mm. If you accidentally run out of milk or creamer, there's a life hack. Just add some ice cream to your drink instead. It will soften up the original coffee taste. Some candles tend to melt a hole into themselves. The more you burn it, the bigger this hole gets. And in the end, the wick gets burned out and there's still a lot of wax. Mm. To prevent it, you can make your candle a nice hat made of aluminum foil. Once you light the candle and put the cap on it, the heat will distribute evenly, melting all the wax. Yes. These glitches between skirting boards can be pretty annoying and they can ruin the whole look of your room. You can cover these glitches with a piece of chalk, just like this Redditor did. You have this lovely set of cutlery your great-grandmother left you, but it faded with time and no dish soap managed to help. Hot water, baking soda, salt, and aluminum foil can help you. Just mix them all in one container and mind that the sheet of aluminum foil should simply be immersed in water. 
Then grab the cutlery and just dip it into the mixture. It works instantly. Look what a gorgeous result this Redditor had. Really? Duct tape can help you adjust your parquet without ruining it. If you ever see a slit and you need to move a parquet tile, grab some duct tape, stick it to the tile, and then pull. The tile will move to the place where it's supposed to be. To make the suction cups hold well, add a layer of Vaseline. This way, they will stick better. And next time that they don't hold, just reapply the Vaseline. A simple spatula may come in handy not only in the kitchen, but in a bedroom too. Hmm. Next time you change bed sheets, use a spatula to tuck them in between the bed and the mattress. This TikToker swears by this life hack that helps make the bed the same way they do in hotels. Some people like collecting baseballs, but it's not that easy to display them on the shelf as they tend to roll away. You can use bottle caps as baseball holders, just like this Redditor. In case you don't like the design of the caps, get creative and paint them. Tin cans with tomato soup and other stuff aren't the most convenient thing out there. Sometimes you only need a part of that jar, but the leftovers can't be stored properly once you open up the tin lid. A jar of Nutella is a lifesaver for such cases. Its lid fits perfectly on tin cans. Ever notice that accumulating sticky residue on the bottom of your laundry detergent cup? This one can be pretty hard to clean. So next time you do your laundry, just throw it in with the wash. You can actually put the laundry detergent cup inside the washing machine each time you use it. This way, the residue won't build up and the cup will always be clean. Let's imagine you have two hard disk magnets and a bag of chips. Are these things related? Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. Next time you're too full to finish the chips, secure the bag with two magnets. They will keep the air away when you decide to finish the bag. The taste will be the same. Don't throw away leftover soap bars. You can use it until the very end. This Redditor showed how they sort of weld the leftover bar with the new one. And these two guys stick to each other while lathering. If you don't find it convenient, you can go creative and make the liquid soap out of the leftovers instead. Once you've collected enough tiny bars, grate them, then melt them in a microwave oven, and then add some water. You can regulate the consistency yourself. The more water you add, the more watery the soap will get. You can also add a dash of liquid glycerin for extra moistening. Let the mixture sit for 24 hours, and there you have it, your DIY liquid soap. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.